Hey guys, it's Chigarette right here. I'm back with another uh, quick video. I don't know. We're going to break this video up so it's not lasting forever. Look at that last video. It was so freaking long. But anyway, y'all, we're just going to go with the Sephora. A little mini haul. It won't be that long. I just ran into Sephora because I went to see these Pat McGrath Maintenance Super Muse lip set. This is two lip sets. I don't know if y'all seen it. That's what it looks like. It came out this week, but you get two lipsticks for 65 which isn't bad because Pat McGrath lipsticks, I think they were like 38 because I got one. I ordered one. And this is uh, Ellison. So I went in this forward thinking, you know, I'm going to go see what this looks like before I get it. Because I know it looks like another red even in the picture. But, uh, yeah, long story short, it has the new rose red packaging for Valentine's Day but it's repeat I only got one but I went to the store anyway and they told me that they didn't have it in the store um they only carry so much stuff on shelves and I probably had to order that online so I came back home and I was looking at it and just what happened I put this lipstick on today I haven't worn it in a minute and this is uh Ellison and then looking at the picture the two lipsticks one is Ellison, which is a blue red, and Omni is a mid tone red. These are repeats. Something they did was change the packaging to a red packaging. And I'm so happy they didn't have it in store because I wouldn't have looked at it twice. I mean, of course, the red and gold packaging is cute, but uh, to pay another or six five dollars for two, I don't have the other one. No. No, I'm going to have two of the same lipsticks except one is in red and one is in black. And then one different one, which I'm so, I'm just saying, if you guys have, already have Ellison, just know in this set that one of these, well, both of them are repeats. They're just in red packages. So just check your collection and make sure that you don't already have Oma or Ami, O-M-I, or L Ellison, E-L-S-O-N, because I would have got this if it had not been that I already had this one. I was coming home to order it, but luckily, I don't know what made me grab this. I was just in the mood for this shade today, which is, it's really pretty. Let's watch something right there. That's what it looks like. But I don't need it to be in a red packaging. I don't need to just buy another one for that. If I didn't have it, I probably would have broken and got those because I was so on the fence about those. But anyway, real quick, it's just a small, short, short Sephora haul. I picked up, uh, even my, uh, receipt is not, it's long, but it ain't that long. You know, they put a lot of writing in the bottom. Um, for foundation, let's go with that. I picked up the new Dior Forever Skin Undercover Foundation. It says high pigment and it's a water-based foundation for 24-hour full wear. I really want to try this because I'm looking for a foundation. Sometimes come and says it won't wear off, and she I let the girl in Sephora put some on both sides here, purposely in my smile lines, y'all. And I walked around, looked in the store. This stuff didn't even crease without a powder, so and it's still not creasing, and it's still dry right there. So that convinced me, and I had to pick this up and give it a try. I'll do a a, a review on this. I don't know if I'll get it done before I go back to work on Sunday, but if not, I'll get it done on my days off. Uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday next week, but I'll try to get it done tomorrow, okay? I'm wondering, this foundation is uh, $52, so I'm expecting a lot out of this. Now. Let me show you what this foundation looks like out of the box. This is what it looks like. It's in a plastic container, not those really pretty glass containers. And I picked mine up in a 051 Praline. I was stuck between 51 or I don't know what this is. The one right before Praline on this side. But I think this was more of a match. So I went with Praline just in case you're wondering. And uh, there is no pump. It's just a squeeze. It kind of like squirts out. But yeah. I'll let you guys see that more in the review of that. Okay. Now we can move on. The next thing I picked up was this uh, NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. 
This is what it looks like. This primer was 32. Yeah. No. Where is it? $36. This primer was $36. And I got, I got a sample of this primer on my uh, play box. And I really like this primer, but I was using it with the NARS foundation. And NARS foundation seems to make me oily later on in the day. Not in the beginning. Maybe around hour six or seven. Y'all know I work 12 hour shifts. So this lasts. This helped it last. So I'm hoping it works well with all my foundations. So yeah. Just pick that up. And then it's a really small haul. I just talk a lot, y'all. And then I picked up another one of these uh, Sephora Lip Stories. I picked this one up in Yum Yum. And I thought that was so cute. It's got little cookies all around it. I thought it was like that pink Yum Yum, but nah. It made you think of the pink Yum Yum. This is a really pretty nude brown. It's right there with a little shimmer to it. I like that. This is what it looks like in the tube. Yeah. I just like these lip stories. I think they're just awesome. And then only we almost done. That's how short this video is. The next thing I picked up was this uh Bobby Brown highlighting powder. That's what it looks like. It's in moon gold. It was two, but I just felt like gold seemed to go with my skin tone better I think the other one I don't know if it was I can't remember what it looked like I just I went for the gold from my uh, max gold deposit I know gold looks really good on me this package oh this is beautiful now I noticed I saw I swatched the one in Sephora but it was uh dug in and I couldn't see how pretty it really was in the beginning before it was swatched up. That's what it looks like. And I'll, oh, that's really soft. That's what it looks like on my finger. And I'll just swatch some. Let me get some more. And I'll swatch some right there. See, I like that. I know I got enough highlights with those, uh, yes, with those powder highlights from Jackie Anna. I just wanted one and it has a pretty nice mirror too that could go in my makeup bag and I didn't have to too much worry about it spilling out or wasting all my other things and yeah I like this I should have tried it in the store but oh okay I did a little bit too much but y'all get the <laughs> logistics and the last thing I picked up was this uh, Stellar Glitter and Glow Highlighter uh, and Illuminator. And this one is in uh, Kitten. And it was some pretty nice new holographic colors, but um, I wasn't feeling those holographic shades. And Kitten is the one that I have been on. I got a couple of these. This is what it looks like in the package. And I'll swatch it right here on the back of my hand. It was just more of a natural tone that I knew would work for me. Okay, I told you, really short Sephora haul. That's all I picked up from Sephora. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.